Hi everyone, I'm Rue. I love getting to talk with you every week, but I can't do it alone. Did you know there's a whole bunch of people that make these videos happen? There's a sound person, a lighting person, and tons of people on cameras. Today in The Source, we'll see that there are some things that we just can't do alone. Let's find out what happens. Okay, all right, now hear me out. I know this isn't the easiest plan, but if we can pull it off, we can be super famous. Yeah, I don't want people in the school to know who I am, let alone the whole world. Why? It's what people dream of. <sighs> Not this person. I'm gonna regret this. Bowie, I'm actually curious about your plan. Gabby, what can I say? I dream of fame. All right, sit back. Get ready for it. The greatest plan that's ever been conceived. Let's take the praise down a notch. Okay, well. Mm. Bowie has a new plan. How hmm? does he do that every time? Okay, put the plan on hold, General Washington, because I have some news. Ah, mysterious envelope. Mm -hmm. Is that a secret plan for Principal Golden? I can certainly take that right no, now. No, no, no. It's a letter for Trixie. A letter for me? Why? Your article, What Makes Me Me, won a National Student Award for writing. What? How? They read it in the paper. Trixie, you're famous. Awesome. That's amazing, congratulations. Uh, Mr. C, can I turn it down? Why? Hmm? I don't know. I mean, you can, but I would think about that. This is a really good thing, you deserve this. Okay, I'll do it. I can't wait to show my parents. Thanks, Mr. C. Oh, I'm so bummed. How could you possibly be bummed? I forgot to ask her for an autograph. <laughs> I've never been this excited. That's hard to believe. Okay, I've never been this excited for someone else. Oh, don't say anything. Wow, you look like a movie star. Bowie, I said don't say anything. Trixie, you look great. Enjoy this. Ugh, this is not me. Come on, be honest. You're kind of digging this. Okay, yeah, I am. <laughs> What do you even do with these things? Oh, do you have a speech prepared? Because if you don't, I have a few you could borrow. Bowie, why do you have speeches? You never know when they may come in handy. All right, so this is if I ever save a cat out of a tree. This is, oh, this is if I ever uh, throw the winning touchdown. Probably don't need that. Uh, this is for when I save Earth in a space war. That's a good one. Oh, this is uh, this is if I ever make a huge speech in the mall. That's always fun. That's always fun. Thanks, uh, Bowie. Okay. Well, just in case. Hey, the ceremony is about to start. We should head upstairs, huh? How are you feeling, Trixie? I'm cool, Mr. C. Good. Ooh. Hey Dad, what's up? Thanks, I'll be right outside. I can't do the ceremony. I can't believe Trixie's mom went to the hospital. I know. This was her big day and was just totally snatched from her. 
Life is just mean sometimes. Yeah. If life was a person, I'd get up in its face and I'd say, hey, leave my friend alone. I don't think that's how life works, Bowie. Is that Trixie's award? Yeah. Can I give it to her when she comes back? Sure, I think she'd like that. I just feel so bad. She was just starting to come out of her shell. I know this is hard to believe, guys, but I think Trixie's gonna be okay. Ugh, I can't believe I forgot my school bag. It's okay, guys, it was false alarm. My mom's gonna pull through. Oh, that's good news. She just has to stay in the hospital for a few more days, do some tests. <clears throat> This is yours. Thanks. My mom will really want to see this. May even cheer up. Trixie, if you need anything, please let me know. Yeah, me too. Thanks, guys. Bowie, I just got a text. I need your help with something. OK, uh, what about Trixie? I'm fine. Thanks, Bowie. OK. You have really good friends. Yeah. But I don't get it, Mr. C. I thought following God would be easier. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't use the word easy. Well, if it's not easy, then why do you follow God? Because things are going to go wrong. This is the part of life. And when they do, it's good to know I'm not facing them alone, that God's with me. <laughs> really? I don't feel like God's even near me right now. Oh, he is. Trixie, he is. I've seen too much to not believe it. You say stuff like that all the time, but how do you know? When I was in high school, I was on a baseball team, and I was pretty good. And there were a lot of teams that wanted me to play for them. And the night before our championship game, my dad got sick. See, ever since I was seven, my dad had been to every one of my games. But he couldn't make that one. Well, how'd you even play in the game? I didn't. I really didn't. I had a chance to win the game, and with everything on the line, I struck out. I felt so alone, like nothing was ever going to go right. And after the game, Coach Michaels talked to me. The whole ride home, it was a two-hour bus ride. You had a good coach. Oh, the best. And he told me something that night that stuck with me. There's not always a reason for bad things. Bad things are just going to happen. But God, God can show us how to respond when things go wrong. Well, how did God help you? He showed me what matters. See, that night after Coach Michaels talked with me, I decided I wanted to help people. That I wanted to be a teacher. A teacher like my coach. Well, you made a good decision, Mr. C. Hmm. You're a great teacher. See, and that's how God shows us that he'll never leave our side. He'll always put people in our life to help us along the way. I have a feeling some of God's helpers are in the hallway right now. What are you guys doing? I thought you guys left. Well, we did, but then we decided to wait for Trixie. Why? You're our friend, and we didn't want you to feel alone. Yeah. I don't think that's ever going to be a problem. It's a great feeling just to know someone's there for you. Even through this tough time, you could tell that it meant a lot to Trixie that the team was there for her. I felt that way not too long ago. Two of my best friends and I stopped being friends for a lot of reasons. It was a really complicated and messy situation and I ended up feeling really alone and unlovable. But I remembered I have a God who always loves me no matter what situation I'm in. I'm super glad he was there for me. Having someone by your side can make a bad situation better. A long time ago, there were three guys who learned about this in a big way. Their names were Shadrach, 
Meshach, and Abednego. You can read about these three in the book of Daniel in the Bible. These three guys had been captured and had to serve the king of the land called Babylon. And this king got some weird ideas. Today, I'll build a statue of me out of gold and it'll be 90 feet tall. Yes. The king built that statue and then told everyone they had to bow down and worship it. A uh, what? It was weird. And yeah, worshiping the king would break God's law. But most people were just like, here goes the king again. Let's just get this over with. Imagine a huge crowd of people all bowing down to this statue. All except three of them. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego wouldn't worship anyone but God. So they were just standing there like, When the king found out, he was super mad. I'm super mad. Throw them into a giant fiery furnace. Uh, whoa, that escalated quickly. Even when they put those three guys right in front of the furnace though, they didn't change their minds. That's when the king lost it. <laughs> they picked up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and threw them right into the fire. Wow, sad. Well, that's it, I guess. That's what the king thought. But then he saw something crazy. The people in the fire were walking and talking, probably dancing. Plus, there weren't just three people though. There were four. The king said the fourth one looked like a son of God. When he asked Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to come out of the fire, they weren't burned at all. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and even the king learned something amazing that day. I can trust that God will never leave my side. God didn't just tell Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego what to do. He was with them in the fire the whole time. God isn't just watching you from the sidelines, cheering you on. Go you! God's with you wherever you go. No matter how bad things get, no matter how alone you feel, God will be by your side. He might even send people to help you. When life gets tough, when you don't know what to do, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, trust God, and you'll see you'll never stand alone. I'll see you guys next week.